Hey, this is Notzer, and we're talking British Destroyers. I'm really excited to discuss and test these new versions because they're fixing some of the issues that were glaring and obvious. One of the most obvious issues was that it had widespread or single spread. Now you'll have a single torpedo launch or narrow spread, and that's just a quality of life. It was a weird choice. I don't know why they chose wide. Wide was never going to be used before. There are certain instances where a narrow spread is what you're looking for. And finally, they're introducing it to the British DDs. Definitely appreciate that. There's going to be a targeted buff to pretty much every DD in the line. It has turret rotation, gunfire angles, reload, you name it. They've tweaked something on some British DD. And overall, it should make the line feel more competitive and just more comfortable. They are also going to be introducing a new smoke system. Now, we have been very familiar with the way smoke has existed. We've got basically super long ones in the form of Pan-Asians and the Americans. You've got mediocre ones in the form of the Japanese and the Soviets. And then you have a low duration in the Germans. The British are going to get something that's sort of in between. Instead of a super long single duration smoke, you will have a short low cooldown smoke that you can make use of for 30 or 40 seconds. It'll be back up in 60 seconds and you'll have a significant amount of these charges. So the British DD could conceivably be a little bit more aggressive in their location. They can find a place, pop in smoke, fire for a couple seconds then they could disengage and avoid the inevitable radar hunter. That's what we're dealing with right now in smoke. It pretty much makes every smoke irrelevant. You can never, ever take full advantage of your smoke cloud, and that's just because radar has dominated the situation in the last three to six months. On top of the smoke change, they're also going to introduce the acceleration mechanic that we're familiar with with the British cruisers in mind. So acceleration module will no longer be available to take on a British DD. It'll sort of be baked in and it's a better version of acceleration. Think about when a British cruiser is taking a turn, they basically maintain their speed. That's how the British DD should feel like when they introduce this adjustment. And that means that you now only have two valid modules you can choose from either the damage control duration reduction or the faster rudder shift. And uh, I would guess that 98% of the British DDs will be taking the faster rudder shift. And that's great. It's going to hide the speed of the ship because you're not going to lose as much speed as every other ship in the game. You'll be able to maneuver more actively and maintain that speed over that maneuver. I'm honestly kind of surprised they went this direction because it could mean that their ability to maneuver in the face of someone will be a little bit more frustrating than a player is used to because they're not cutting any speed. They should, in theory, lose very little speed when actively maneuvering. And that's a huge advantage because usually DDs have to scrub off some of their speed to avoid the incoming shells, and that's just not going to be a part of it. So that's really cool. Now this does mean they have no interest in introducing speed boost or increasing the base speed of the line. Now, without this acceleration baked in, I would have said they're just too slow. They, they just don't perform very well. You know, they're going to be hunt down and they're going to be chased down. But since they have an advantage in maneuvering and they don't lose any speed when they're trying to turn or anything like that, that could mean that under certain situations they actually will perform better than the base design of DDs and their maneuverability. And that's really cool because it's a unique feeling. Now, it doesn't move it out of the defensive parameter. I don't really know. They called them hybrids. Like, they legitimately could use their torpedo systems and gun systems 50-50, and I I will tell you that is not how they feel. They feel very 70-30, 80-20. The guns are by far the easiest tool you can use. The torpedoes are, are definitely usable. They've got incredible concealment. 
but it is really awkward to send the torpedoes because you just have to be almost broadside. And if I'm almost broadside, I am showing you a ton of my ship with no speed boost and no extended speed baked in. So I'm risking some of the ship in certain situations. You're not gonna wanna do that that often. I really don't see where the hybrid design comes in. They're as hybrid as the Grozovoi and the Udaloi and the Agnivoi. It really is primarily guns. You can get two to three or four torpedoes per game on average, but you're not gonna live and die by that. Similar to the Germans, the Japanese, the Americans, all of the Pan-Asians. Those are much better torpedo boats. Now it could end up being that, oh, they're actually really good. It's the the torpedo system arc. It's just, it's really frustrating. It's really frustrating how precise you have to be in your angling to use them. But regardless, the changes are just welcomed across the board. They are fixing a lot of the issues, the core issues I have with the system. I wish it was a little bit more hybrid, so there was a valid use case to take the torpedo reload and go towards your torpedoes, but once again, they're just awkward to use. Maybe that'll improve? I don't know. I think the guns are just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Get this. The tier 9 and the tier 10 will have 360 degree turret rotation. Obviously they have incredibly high fire chance. I think the base fire chance is like 8 or 9%. Then you consider demo and the flags. Obviously I have inertia fuse high explosive at high tier because I have to. And you get it up to about 10% and you, you're setting fires left and right. These guys don't know what they're doing. They can't get out of it in time. It's just a monster amount of gun damage. And I, I don't see how that's going to change. One thing to consider. With the super high tier getting a little bit of reduction in range, but also 360 gun turrets, they could be able to fire openly and angle appropriately if they're skilled enough. And having the turrets rotate and always be on target, that is something that is appealing to me as a player. So definitely a lot to test. Need to test the short duration smoke. Need to test the acceleration, how it feels. Is it going to be a little too sluggish at or near zero knots? I kind of fear that it's going to take a little bit longer to stop, but we'll see. We'll check it out. And the 360 gun turrets. Really, really, really pleased with all the announced changes. I don't really see a single thing that they missed. It seems like they addressed a lot of concerns by the community, by testers, and I think that's great. I hope everyone is excited to see them. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you next time.